Hey guys, we're back for some more standard. Uh, since the last video, our rank has decayed down to 1051 mythic, and so we'll be doing a couple more games here for the latter. Again, here is the deck, mono red aggro, that I'll be using. It's unchanged from previous videos, but here is the list. And if you are new here, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you and your support. Uh, do consider, if you enjoy the content, leaving a like or a comment, showing it to a friend, or consider subscribing. So with that said, let's hop in and get in some games. <clears throat> Hope you guys have had a great day so far. Uh, yeah, this hand looks great. All right, up against Domain. <clears throat> Yeah, let's just go Scoundrel into uh, Wicked Token here, I think. We could potentially like get rid of a land to draw some more action, but I think just the extra damage hitting this turn is going to matter a bit more. So yeah, Phoenix Chick plus Epicure looks great. And then I think we just play with Fire here just to get the extra damage off Swift Spear and set ourselves up for next turn. Okay, that was a great draw. I think we hold the mountain here just for the blood token. And hopefully they don't have Sunfall this turn, which is pretty awkward. Okay, this is great, because now we can go Scoundrel into um, Treasure Token here, and then get Phoenix Chick going, and that'll activate Reveler. Yeah, so even if they've got... Let's see, what could they have? They could have Binding for Reveler. Then they block one of our creatures. They still take one, two, three. They go to one. Hmm. I think that's still the best we can do here. I guess if the damage is the same, we can put Wicked Token... They make the Wicked token on the Epicure, but then they block that. So I think... I 
I think Wicked Token is a little safer. Just because this way we're holding something um, in case they have the board wipe next turn. Like, I think the damage is the same with the, the Wicked Token. So we just shove with everything. They'll need the binding for Godric. There's the binding. <clears throat> Hopefully they only have one binding. <clears throat> then they drop to one. Phoenix Chick. Hopefully is enough to get it done. Unless they've got a Trax of this turn. And if they have a Traxa, oh, they've got Archangel. God, we're so close. So I think, hmm, play out the Phoenix Chick, just in case we draw something that gives us a chance to get back our other Phoenix Chick. And then Lightning Strike, I try to Lightning Strike end of turn. Because next turn, like, their plan is, let's see, they don't have seven mana yet, but they could go for virtue to try to get back Archangel. So maybe, actually, maybe we push with both and then make the trade. They go up on life. Yeah, I think that that might be. So otherwise we're just trading the three here. Like they swing, go to seven, we take them back to four. Yeah, I think we push here. It's not ideal, but I think it's what we've got. Archangel number two is going to be rough. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that's going to do it. They've just got too much life gain now. Hey guys, if you have been enjoying my channel and would like to help support the content, uh, you can do so at uh, patreon.com forward slash hand underscore of underscore justice. I just put together a Patreon page and it really um, would help quite a bit uh, in giving me the ability to continue to make great videos here for you guys going forward. Um, here is what the page looks like. I'll include a description um, or a link in the description, but this is the page you'll see. And then you'll have an option here of um, which level you'd like to support at, um, if you are able. We have all the way from dedicated Justicar, Magister, and Titan levels of support. So with this, you will get early access to my content. Uh, and then in addition, at the higher levels, you will also be listed uh, as, as part of a special thanks at the beginning of each of my videos. So it really does mean the world to me. And thank you guys so much again for supporting. Um, even if you're only able just to watch my videos and not support monetarily, it does mean a great deal to me. So thank you so much for watching.
Okay, hand looks great. Could use one more land, and that'll do. I think here we sit, just because they could uh, potentially have action there, like an Elspeth Smite. We don't want to get blown out and possibly use Lightning Strike on whatever they played this turn. So I'm not sure this is, could be like resolute reinforcements, if it's soldiers. Um, I think we, I'm not sure if we, we go strike face here. I think we actually could, because we've got a number of plays lined up for us. So I think striking here is actually fine. Now I think we want to get Forge going. Okay, I guess they got Virtue. See, maybe we should have held back there with the 1-1. One, one. Um, Could go squee here. Um, doesn't accomplish that much though. I think Feldon into Rage is maybe a bit better. Or we could just go like Feldon plus Chick. Although Rage I think is kind of a blowout. So yeah, I guess we go Feldon and see what they do. Although they probably don't even block it to be honest. Yeah, maybe we just go Feldon plus Chick here. And if they block here, we're totally fine with it. Yeah, that was a nice draw. So now if they try to block the one one, we can blow them out with, with rage. That works too, so now let's see. They're taking three, five. So we can get them to one, otherwise, I think now we put this on Squee, since we can't outright kill them. Now they need an answer for Phoenix Chick. Yeah, that's gonna do it. See, I think this weekend is the first plan, and I wanna say this is the um, just best of one. 
standard plan. So very excited for that. Hoping we can spike a win. great Alright, so they're representing play with fire. Um, I don't think it changes our play though. We just go adversary here. Um, I guess we could go like adversary and sit. Doesn't feel great though. I guess since like the forges are kind of slow, maybe we just want to hold back with the adversary. I don't think there's any real benefit though in holding back with a swift spear. I guess they could potentially blow us out with monstrous rage. If they have monstrous rage for their kumano, it could be kind of rough. Otherwise we're just racing. So we could drop them to 16 and then they hit us back for, yeah, I think we hang hang back here with the, the adversary. Um, although it's so bad if they have monstrous rage, it's a complete blowout. I think we just need to hope they haven't got it. And just like slow them down enough to get going here. Okay, it's not like ideal, but like getting the burn on the creature is actually kind of helpful there. Okay, we're playing from behind. Um... We could just go Godric here and hang back and then hope that they haven't got like the lightning strike for it and they have to two for one themselves to get rid of Godric. Otherwise we like play with fire plus adversary. Otherwise we could adversary and then hold play with fire for their turn, which actually feels kind of okay. Yeah, I think that might actually be the best bet here. It's a little bit slow. But I think, again, we're on the back foot, and so... Okay, that's a good time to have play with fire. Man, I really want them to attack, but I won't have to deal with their extra 1-1. One, one. So I think the answer here is unfortunately just play with fire on the mark and then just sit and essentially waste their turn, and that's okay. I'd like to do more shenanigans, but I think just buying time here is maybe enough. And again here, I think we probably just set up a similar situation here. Like we're still a little bit behind. So I think if we go Godric and Godric holds the ground, we can then start pushing the next turn with Forge. It's, it's really slow, but I think it's kind of where we're at.
Otherwise, we have like scoundrel make this thing a three three, but that's just not as useful, not as an effective use of our mana. Yeah, the one liability of Forge is the mono red mirror. It's great in so many matchups, but in this matchup, it's very slow. they're thinking with this attack I mean we are happy to trade these two for Godric and they only get one of them and then we get to eat their 2-3 this seems amazing like they're out of cards right what am I not seeing here good old on the board tricks Oh, okay, this is great. So now we can go Scoundrel into Forge. I think just getting the extra body there is for sure worth it. And then I think we get in with... Um, Let's see, they have, they're getting close to Squee. I think we gotta be a little bit controlled here with our Godric. Um, I'd love to bash them down, but I think the safe play here is to just get in with Adversary. Gotta stay disciplined. Next, Forge, um, and that feels pretty good. Then we can just kind of use that to start taking over. So like now we're starting to get to a point where we can safely get in with Godric. Let's see, if we get in with this, we still have decent blocks. It's not amazing, but I think we'll have enough to like Alpha Strike the following turn. Now we have enough of a setup that we should be able to stop whatever they've got to throw at us. Yeah, and that should do it. I think this is lethal, like even if they, yeah, because we have seven with Godric alone. So that kind of came down to that like important block we did with, uh, I have no idea what, that was a, I think a bad attack on their part, but just being really disciplined with Godric before we could take over. And I think the key part of that game was getting the lightning strike out of their hand by leaving our uh, adversary back to block their Kumano.
and looks great. Okay, this is a nice situation here because we get to make our Swift Spear uh, into a X4, which is super important against Mono Red. If they have Witch Doctor Frenzy, they can get us, but that's pretty much one of the only ways. Either that, or I suppose, um, here's the one sorcery that costs three, I can't remember the name of it, but those two are like their way out. So yeah, I think we definitely go Rage here. Because this is going to be really hard for them to deal with. Now I think we go... I guess we can go like Scoundrel into mana, so we can have Forge going next turn potentially. We can also like use this and just push, and if they want to block, we can trade Monstrous Rage plus like our 1 1 to just lock it up. And I think that feels pretty good too. So that's kind of a tough draw. Um, so how do we do this? Because like they they want to take out Swift Spear, so they're gonna have to double block it, which means we can get some free damage in. So I think the play here is Feld on, and then just shove with everything. Um, so they can like kill these two if they want, but then we get through with our Swift Spear. I think this is the play. If they don't kill this thing now, they probably never will be able to. Yeah, so this is nice because now we can get them down to two. Um, we're at high life total. We attack with everything. They get the free kill on the scoundrel. They have to block Feldon or they probably die. Um, if they do, we get more more gas in the tank. Then we've got one more damage for Epicure, which gets them to one. We should be able to get some burn by then, I would think. I guess like there's not maybe we don't have to attack with scoundrel here. Hmm. I think we definitely attack with these two. I don't know about scoundrel, I guess. So like if we don't attack with scoundrel, they probably like block the one one here with the two two. This potentially here. I mean this gets in a point of damage, which I think is highly relevant. And since we're not hurting on life total, I think we push with everything here. Yeah. And then, yeah, 
Yeah, that's gonna do it. They can do a bunch of damage, they can't do 18. Looks great. Could use another creature before t turn three, but I'll definitely keep it. They almost certainly have gold for the throat here, but might as well at least try for it. And then I think we're sitting waiting on... Yeah, the theory there is we want to wait for cut down. Because I don't think we just play this into open mana. That just seems crazy. Now they go like Liliana maybe? Flesh Gorger, that works. It's kind of a crazy play, but I guess we could go like Rage here, since next turn we're going to be... No, it doesn't make sense to do it now. I guess since we know we have the extra mana, we could do it on this turn instead. And then I think while we've got the opening, let's go for the Rage. I guess we could go Epicure, but Epicure is nice after Godric, so let's go Rage here. And then we want to spread our threats out a little bit. Hopefully they don't have like Path of Peril. Trespasser is fine. So I think we go Lightning Strike, discarding Epicure and Swift Spear this turn. That's pretty. I think that's actually game, right? Unless they've got cut down. I guess I wonder if we just attack. They probably like block here. Lightning strike face. Three, five. Yeah, it doesn't really matter how we do it, honestly. And this saves us a card, so that's probably better. Actually, well, I guess if they have cut down, it's the only way that they come out of this on top. See, if we attack with everything, and they block here. I think we can wait wait them out, though. Because like, if they block here, we just wait for damage and then kill them. So yeah, I think this is the best way.
I guess now they can get us with cut down over here. But if they do, we still take them down to three, these trade. It's not like ideal, but I think it's it's worth going for the extra damage here. That'll do it. All right, thanks guys for watching. Uh, we went four and one today, 80% win rate. Let's take a look at the overall stats for the current season. Okay, so overall stats for this season is 71% uh, win rate. So 67 wins and 28 losses so far this season. And yeah, I think the most recent version of the deck is 80% win rate. But yeah, we'll, overall we'll call it 71%. So very happy with the deck. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow.